All right, guys, welcome back to Heavy Rain. It's VR and Spark and Conduit, and it's the finale. And that loaded really fast for once. I'm happy. Shut up. Oh, no, it's <coughs> almost six inches of rain water. That doesn't mean anything. What do you mean? Oh, that's right. It means a lot. It's the origami killer's modus operandi. Sean! Ethan! Does that actually happen now, the whole Sean thing? What do you mean? Can you use Sean? Sean? Can you press X? Yes! Yes, you can! Sean! It's the same exact thing as earlier. The poison's gonna kill me in a few minutes. I I've gotta find Sean fast! Sean's yeah, done right. for if I've got the address wrong. I hope it's not too late. Sean. What happens if you show up at the wrong address? I've been looking for um, him long. He's like a fucking restaurant! Oh, God. <laughs> really? A restaurant! A goddamn restaurant! That's <laughs> funny. For a father that would what about the other one? To do I think they're both restaurants, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Can't he just look it up at his phone? In order to save his son. I don't know. This was before <laughs> smartphones. Oh, I Not searched. all of them. Or, you know, like, the functionality we come to expect in far smartphones now. Fart phones? Yeah. I remembered you. Oh, yeah. I can't believe that three years ago, half the technology we use on a daily yeah, basis Yeah, Shelby was, was somehow here watching, you know, Ethan. Yeah, this is bullshit. And then he waited two years before he called on him. All those writers. Just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? <laughs> Do you have Everyone's just like, really? That's your motive? I know. Nothing in your father's eyes? I think Believe quite me. a few people know how it feels. I suffer. Just as much as my victims. <laughs> no, you haven't. I finished your damn yeah. trials. Now give me back my son. He's there. All you have to do is open that grate. While I shoot you in the back. Fucking son of a bitch. Look, why is he gonna shoot him after all that? He's <laughs> chained out of fucking nowhere. I know. And he's like, I'm gonna chase after him. And... Now, if only Ethan makes it this far, doesn't he die to Shelby? No. How, how he actually lets. You can actually kill Shelby as Ethan. Oh, okay. I'll get you out of there, Sean. Sean! I'll get you out of there. Sean! Sean! <laughs> I'm not sure how that's supposed to work. I I see it. He puts it in between the lock and the thing that the lock is on. So it's basically breaking the lock at the bolt point so that it can take it off. Yeah, I'm gonna wow, it down. you suck. No, I'm trying to set it down. Oh, well, you still suck. <laughs> you. <laughs> you suck yourself you so, You're the one who fucked up <laughs> Jaden. Well, admittedly, I was not ready to press nine buttons at once. How is he under the water I'm now? gonna put him back in the water. <laughs> <laughs> this is so wrong. It's kind of funny considering that uh, fucking John Shepard couldn't hold on for like five minutes and he, like, Sean held on for like three days. No, that's not it. See, the water's not deep enough to kill him until uh, six inches of rainfall. I'm and just saying, what though, you can you know? see is he's standing in a pipe and remember, you know, bodies are buoyant. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. You can die pretty easily here, like two mistakes and you're done. Oh, let's see how you do, VR. Well, it depends on the mistakes you make, too, though. Like, where you... If you mistakes were made! <laughs> but if you get hit by, like, the sledgehammer... Oh! Oh, what? Yeah! Really? You gotta be careful. <laughs> Owned. <laughs> He's throwing shit like it's super light, you know? I know. <laughs> this is so retarded. What kind of junk conveyor belt has all this shit on it? I know. Oh, you got lucky there. 
What is that thing? A pipe? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. How nice, game. How nice. Compressions. Don't, don't help me, son. Please. Breathe. Mm. Gotta breathe. Dum dum dum. More chest compression, and then all of a sudden I'm fighting Shelby again, right? Yeah, and you're gonna fail like the first button prop there because it's just gonna be all of a sudden, like right about after this, right after this next breath, you're fighting Shelby. No, we're gonna see him. He's gonna be like, no, he's dead, and then he comes back to life. Ow. And then <laughs> Yeah, really. It hey, you know, I just realized Ethan Mars kissing kids. Okay. <laughs> His own son, no less. Okay. That's completely normal. Uh not in the lips, it's not. He's not kissing him on the lips, he's giving him a CPR, you <laughs> jack. I'm joking, dude. You're awful. Also, he's got a beard of sorrow. <laughs> Haven't mentioned that on the LP yet. Yeah, no. I'm just saying, that's gonna be bristly face here. Yeah, I know. I like how he's been starving for three days, but you know. He's able to talk and just be a year. You'd have to starve for a little more than three days. And we don't know that Shelby wasn't necessarily giving him food or Listen, something to keep his strength up. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Sitting on the videos of just happened, Sean standing slash floating in a grate, and I doubt it. Yeah, probably. I'm not dead, gee. I took the poison it's an hour not ago. poison, it's just barbicide, jackass. <laughs> and I'm not dead. <laughs> All of a sudden he starts regurgitating I, 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 I find it funny, it's, oh, <coughs> stopwatch ran out, and I'm not dead, you know, it's like... I'm trying to remember what that thing is. I swallowed so many things over the years. There's got to be a come. I had like. It is from Mystery Science Theater. It's from the Space Mutiny episode. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I told. I wasn't. I was only half paying attention. You know. Yeah. <laughs> God, Jada just exists to die. Basically, that's it. Get the shit beat out. Oh damn! You know. Yeah. Yeah, Shelby should be dead by now. I always hate that in Hollywood movies, how people can take like three hits with a fucking PVC pipe. Yeah, the sledgehammer, if he hits you with that, you're fucked. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Jaden's dead. Yep. No. Yeah. And then, because Lauren died. No. Yeah. Sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, things happen. That I way. should try, I should not try to talk while playing this game. Wow. I, I guess we're just gonna let Jaden die, okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like he's that useful anyway. No one's gonna miss him or anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. What about Madison? Where is she in all this? She pops up on the motorcycle in just a moment to stop them from shooting him. Yeah, I know, but I thought that happened earlier. You'd think so, but it, the, the scene changes. If Jaden's still alive, she doesn't show up as early as he does. I know the scene changes, though. I know. But she got away, right? Yeah. So, like... Anyways. Yeah. That's a beautiful loading screen. Doesn't have a face or anything. Oh, yeah. Anything. It's got, like, some weird lines floating in the background, which they may not be able to see. What? No Madison at all? Yeah. Um. Oh. Alright. Yeah. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police Glenn Sanders. Was point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity. No, oh, seriously, where the fuck was Madison and all that? I don't know. The police commission. I think she's supposed to show up there. Our main headline today. It is Wait, how did the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer? Scott Shelby, yeah, was 48, my bad. former police lieutenant who claimed um, to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's I, Wait, what? 
Despite what? Citywide manhunt, yeah, this is a weird ending. Like, I was, is it because Lauren died? Operation in an effort to arrest him. That might be it. The investigation has cost the life of Norman Jaden. <laughs> he looks off camera. <laughs> he looks off camera because he's trying to hide his smile. <laughs> We're all smiling because Jaden died. Yeah. A full police investigation. I'll make it. I'll be okay. He's dead. Yeah. Where is the bitch? Looks like he bought Is a it house. playing painful memories again? Yes. Let's just say a Son friend of a, of a friend bitch. let me jump in line. If we like it, yep. it's ours. There she is. Yeah, but I mean like she should have rode the motorcycle, had to, you know, slide through and yeah, I don't understand. Get that. in there with Ethan. It might have something to do with Lauren, I'm not certain. Hey Dad! I think I found my room. Said while jerking off the air. Yeah. Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. <laughs> yeah. We'll I just can't believe that they're happened. able to share that. Wait, see his we'll finger. Wait, can we see his finger? Son of a bitch! I can't see his right hand, or left hand. We'll like I'm telling you, his finger is gone. We've earned mm -hmm. the right to be happy now, Ethan. Come on, because that's three of us. <laughs> that's exactly what this whole trial was about. <laughs> Can't get a clear look at his hand. I can't, can't see it. I I think they do that on purpose so they didn't have to model two I'm, different. I'm pretty sure his scene. finger is gone. Hmm. Well, we'll see. I'll zoom in or something on the let's play and be like, "She told you." <laughs> oh, you might be right. And then I think we'll get a scene of uh, yeah, Jaden's sunglasses getting put on by Clay. Clay. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I just He's mixed part of boy together. Yeah. yeah. Some godforsaken hole in the back end of beyond near Washington. Okay. Uh, do, do you mean Arlington know. Cemetery? <laughs> I'll pass. Jane and I He's been but for Washington. Yeah. No problem. I understand. I hey, we sir, didn't try to get I this on you guys. Glass. Just we are just can't talk and do well, stick movements at the same time. Well, let's say Madison right. didn't show up regardless, though. Yeah, it's weird. Do you want with them. What the look at the wiki? Because normally what happens there is Ethan tries to walk outside, and if he walks out, they shoot him unless Madison is there to like explain that he's not the killer. She he doesn't. She doesn't even explain that he's not the killer. Blake just she calls just the ceasefire because yeah. she's in the way. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm gonna try those glasses. <laughs> but wouldn't they not work because he doesn't have the glove? I don't know if you need the glove for them to work. You just need the glove for it to pick up data, I guess. Yeah. Or maybe he has the glove and I just forgot. Well, where did his glasses come from, actually? I don't know. If Were they on him? Yeah. I don't know. And he's Whoa. on the other side. He's like, this is really jazzy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> now what happens to him? Doesn't something bad happen no, to him? No, he sees Norman in the area and he's like, what the? What the? Yeah. He's like, this is awesome, man. Like, yeah. Like, holy shit, is this, why, this is why Norman's always chill. Yep. <laughs> That's hilarious. Smirk. So, if Norman survives, doesn't he get that scene where the tanks try to shoot him or some shit? If he managed to break his trypto obsession, yeah. Mm hmm. And then we get a scene of Scott just walking around. Looks like the exact same shot from the opening of the game. Pretty much. No one seems to recognize him, even though he's been outed on the news as the Origami killer. I know, that that also pisses me off about this game. And then because Lauren isn't still alive, she doesn't do vigilante justice. So there are several problems with this game that make it almost impossible for most people to take it seriously. Number one, the blackouts. Number two, Shelby doing some of the things that he does in flashback. And number three... Just the general idea that Shelby could set any of these trials up in the first place is ridiculous. I mean, the broken glass one especially. Or we'll play a game. <coughs> that requires an especially big, uh, what do you call it? Suspension of disbelief. I'm a father too, bang. 
You gotta dodge out of the way of the truck. So, yeah, I mean... It's heavy rain. I mean, there's not much else to say. Uh, not now, anyways. But it's over! It's all over. Alright, I all guess... Over. Hey, it's the guy that never showed up at the game. Yeah. So Shelby can take that guy out. How come I couldn't do it? You, uh, didn't do it fast enough. Oh, no, wait. That's from the... Bleep! The failed... Let's play. <laughs> it's just Jaden just standing there watching. Yeah. Do All you right. think this game would have been better if they kept the supernatural bits in it? I don't know. The thing about the supernatural stuff it, is there's got to... Anything you do has to be handled consistently and not in a retarded manner. Yeah. And, uh... That was the problem with the first Indigo Prophecy, is that the supernatural... The first Indigo Prophecy? <laughs> well, you mean the first Cage game? He, or, well, that wasn't his first game either, but... That's right, he did that weird-ass game in 2000 that was sort of like Grand Theft Auto. Well, the... Regardless, it's, you know, it's all of a sudden they're doing Matrix fighting stunts, and that was not what the game <laughs> been about at all, and they tried to turn it into a fighting game, and it just... It didn't work. I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool. Well, it's not that it couldn't have been cool. It's just the control interface for what they were trying to do. That was the problem. It was just Simon Says, basically. Yeah, and then there was also... Like, it was just... They, they held out way too long on some of that... On some of the reveals in that game, too, I think. Yeah, isn't it like you have to go through, like, six scenes of pressing the fucking Simon Says buttons well, it's before like, you learn who the killer is or some shit? It's more like you're four-fifths of the way through the game when you start learning about the the Indigo Child. You know? Yeah. And that's what the game is fucking named after. Mm -hmm. And then even then, you're like, we don't know what it does, but it's supposed to do something. And it's like, alright, I guess. All I remember is the guy from the Bronx who's like supposed to be Chinese and then starts talking with a yo, what's going on kind of accent and remembering how much I loved it. Oh, no, you mean... Oh, no, the the guy Tyler goes to the, book, the Chinese bookstore guy. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And he's like from the Bronx even though he looks Chinese. Well, no, he, he, <coughs> he starts off sounding all Chinese and like, oh, I will help you, sir. And then he's like, what do you want? Yeah, it's there. Mm. Oh, yeah, I do that all the time, kind of thing, you know? Yeah. But, like... Like I said, it, you can do Supernatural, it's just... It, it's got to be consistent, and it also... If you're going for a realistic game, it, it's dangerous to go over the top. Yeah. Well, I think I've listed my problems with the storyline VR. What are your problems with the storyline? What makes it stupid to you? Well, I mean, there's the whole thing where Ethan's made of fucking iron. Yeah. It's, you know, he... I can see him surviving maybe two events, but then, the, like, three things happen. He, he chops his finger off. He breaks his ribs in a, in a car crash. He crawls on glass. He can get shocked as well. Or he can get shot... And then he, he goes on to have sex. I'm like, this is... No. Yeah. No. Like, yeah. I and mean, then, like, under a big enough adrenaline rush, maybe someone could do those things, but they'd have to be like well, a Marine. It, it, well, a Marine. Someone who would be used to doing that sort no, of it's shit. No, not, it's not being used to it. It's that the adrenaline rush had long passed. You know, he was sitting in his room like, I couldn't kill him, you know. Uh, yeah, you know, that's another thing too. Is you know you get the crap beaten out of you by the drug dealer as well, potentially. And then he's like, I couldn't do, it. I couldn't kill the same. And then he, he doesn't really get the crap beaten out of him. He just runs away from the guy shooting him. But no, I mean if you lose that mm. scenario, Ethan, then uh, you know he gets beat up a little bit, sort of, kind of, and then he gets tossed out of the apartment. Oh, he can't die there. No, really. No, it sucks. When can Ethan die then? Just the last scene if you don't Ethan save enough can, people? Ethan can get either imprisoned. Most of the way Ethan dies tend to be uh, the endings of the game where you didn't save Sean. Okay. Like, um, if he's in police custody and Sean dies, he folds a bunch of origami figures and then hangs himself. Oh, yeah, I remember. Alternatively, if he's free and then Madison loves him, uh, he visits the grave. 
and then <coughs> shoots himself. That's the other one I forgot to mention. I know we said it all throughout the LP, but it still bears mentioning. Why does Ethan believe he's the origami killer? <coughs> There's no rationale for it. Even with the blackouts, it's like, I don't know what I was doing. Well, you ended up on a street corner. Do you really think you would have killed someone while you were blacked out? Yeah, this is the the, 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 the psychologist, psychotherapist guy, too. He's like, I'm, I can't tell you anything. And I'm like, yes, you can. Why not? I mean, I, I is, signed an oath of secrecy, and I'm like that. <laughs> that doesn't apply when the police come to investigate a murder. You know, the one time yeah. Carter's actually right about police precedent is in that case. You know, yeah. Psych psychologists are only bound not to reveal information about their clients if there's, you know, like, but you know, if their clients say, "I think I could have killed someone," they have to reveal it because they had to protect other people from being killed. You yeah. know. It, even, like, it doesn't even have to be being killed. It could be just, like, you know, I beat my wife. If you say that to a psychologist, he would have to let the police know if you're being, you know, investigated for domestic abuse or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. It's just... Also, the police themselves is... Are, are useless. Well, they're incompetent in a way that is just impossible to believe, almost. Like, mm -hmm. the... The rooftop chase scene, they don't have a perimeter of cops in case he tries to escape the net. Yeah, really. You know, they all they all jumped on the roof with Blake so <laughs> they could chase this guy down. That is ridiculous, yeah. yeah. Mitsuru Miyamoto. I didn't know that they actually had a Japanese voice track on this. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I don't think this sold well in Japan, though, did it? No. I don't think it did. But I still... My, my biggest problem is the fucking Shelby killing Manfred scene. That still makes no sense to me. Okay, I'm gonna list all the reasons and see how many I can come up with. A, Lauren should have heard it, even with the clocks going off, because he threw a typewriter at the guy. He didn't throw it, he used it as a bashing weapon. He still let it drop to the ground. I mean, it's a typewriter, my god, if I dropped a typewriter right now, you, I could drop it he probably also didn't, across the house and this microphone would pick it up. He didn't drop it, he set it down. It made a huge banging noise. I don't know. Quentin and Ulysses must be his kids. Oh, know. isn't this the extra special scene? No. Oh, shit, we don't get the scene at the end. What do you mean? There's a, a scene at the end, I think, if you everybody survives, where you get to visit the gravestone of fucking Shelby or whatever. No, you only see Shelby's grave if he dies. And that mm. means either Lauren, you know... Either Lauren kills him after the fact, or you he dies trying to kill Madison slash Jaden. Yeah. Anyway, check our extras. Alright. Boonass. Uh, downloaded content. Shall we? Alright. Okay. You want to do this one? Sure, why not? Alright. <coughs> so the only downloaded content... Oh, wait, we got it. We had to download it first. <laughs> Thought I had it. Okay, well, yeah, maybe we'll see. No, no, we don't have it. I thought I did. Well, I'll see how many megabytes it is because I don't really want to take it up if it's like a fucking gigabyte file. Watch it. That's the other thing. They were going to release a bunch of deleted scenes that were supposed to explain the backstory behind Heavy Rain, and the only one they released was this one. Which is like a... Which is not very related at all. It's like a proto-development scene that explains what one little piece of Madison's backstory that they didn't even go with in the end. So, well, let's see. It's only... I can't see. You have the, the download button, don't you? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah, that. Right. Sorry, guys. It's not that interesting. You might want to just look it up in another LP because... Honestly, someone else has probably done it and done it better. And there's hey, 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 don't knock our own quality, bro. I'm saying that scene. I think we did a pretty good job overall. I guess. But <laughs> I'm now I'm knocking our quality. <laughs> well, the one thing you can say about Heavy Rain is that, yes, it was a very good game when it came out because there just wasn't a game like it, but you can only really play it once and enjoy it because when you try to play it a second time you start to notice all those niggling little flaws. Like, I think I mentioned this right at the beginning of this LP. I really enjoyed this game the first time, and I was totally engrossed in the storyline. I even got emotional in a couple of parts. But when I go back to play through it, I'm like, how could that have ever happened? Because there are so many stupid flaws in the game, it just... It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Yeah. I don't know. I think that everything that needs to be said has been said, so... 
Now, we'll end it here. And you can uh, bitch at Quantic Dream for making a crappy-ass game.